I'm so transparent. <laughs> uh, it's in shade, is this a six or a nine? <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel i'm erica and i'm a little fucked up as per usual thanks for coming back to my channel and if you're new here i'm sorry <laughs> no i'm not a beauty guru no i do not want to be a beauty guru at all however i've always just wanted to do this like i've just always wanted to do this the youtube thing it just always seems so interesting to me i consume enough youtube so i'm just like eh, might as well like put myself out there and see so i'm gonna go from this <laughs> to how I normally look in my thumbnails which is like almost like near immaculate but not quite um so if you want to hang out for a little bit like feel free you can skip through this video however you want I don't really care um but yeah I don't have a lot of like awesome products so if you're coming for like I don't know the quintessential like what do I need to use on my space I don't know I experiment I'm just like you I buy a whole bunch of shit that I see on the platform and see if it works for me uh, and it should be fine. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know I try and post new content at the beginning of the week, um, every single week. So if you like me, please still subscribe. I don't always look like busted and in my nightgown and in my fucking, <laughs> my satin like lined bonnet, but whatever. Um, I don't even have like moisturizer on and my face, as you can see, has a lot of different texture and I have like these dry patches which typically comes from a skin condition um that I struggle with honestly it only gets better when I do keto which I did a video about um I'll put it in a card or whatever but um my skin is quite uneven as far as like the color and I have like a freshly waxed stash so it's really fun if you hear like construction or sirens there's always something going outside so i try to edit it out but sometimes it's just too loud and during the day since there's construction outside of my house you hear sirens this is the shea moisture moisturizing jelly it comes in this little jar i just get it from tj maxx i'm not even sure if they sell it in like target or whatever i just put like a little bit like that on my face and i already rubbed it in but i kind of like the way it feels i think it has like charcoal or something in it um but i like the texture of it i use it as a day moisturizer and okay so that's moist um and this is Hayes behind me she's gonna get groomed later today so i kind of have to hurry <laughs> All right, T, I'm back. Um, but I found my Fenty. So I got this tip from Jackie Ina. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, I'm gonna use this Pacifica Water Bounce Serum. I love Pacifica. Like, I really am into cruelty-free beauty, um, if I can. Sometimes I don't always get it correctly, but um, love cruelty-free beauty. I love vegan beauty. Um, anything that like doesn't harm in the quest to be beautiful, um, I'm about. So yeah, I put that on with my moisturizer. Um, but I was trying to find my Fenty for like 10 minutes cause ill. Listen, as you can see, I'm a basic hoe. Like <laughs> I'm a normal human being that just decided to do videos. So sorry if the quality is not what you're used to. Um, but anyway, so I get this tip from Jackie Ina. I just pour a little bit of Fenty um, powder, which like, girl, I get like the little mini ones in Sephora, like the little testers, because I don't have time to be buying full size product. I've been there, done that. I did that with the Huda, Huda Beauty Powder. I don't even like this. I don't fuck with it. <laughs> like, So what I do is I take this flat brush and like I said, I am not professional. And I just like lay this powder down and tap it. Um, damn it. I forgot primer. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? I use primer. I was gonna use the um, Milk Hydro Grip. I, again, I got the little one cause girl, I don't have time. I kind of want to use it. Let's see, where did I put it? I put it on my forehead, damn it. <laughs> I typically put it 
on my t-zone i'm gonna just use like a little bit all this stuff blends together anyway right um regardless um yeah i'm just gonna like put my primer on top okay that's not that's not bad but but yeah i bought the the milk hydro grip a couple days ago just to see what the hype was all about because i started watching like raw beauty christy stuff and who's by the way is so amazing i'm so happy for her we're just chatting i hope you guys are doing your makeup too okay i think that's okay as you can like talk back to me jackie Ina got me on this like putting loose powder underneath your foundation and I have been loving it personally. I use a lot actually, cause my skin's weird. As you can see, when I washed it and didn't have any product on it, it looked so dry. But when I put stuff on it, it produces oil. And so a lot of time, um, my face is, I guess it's oily common, or what is it? It's oily combination skin, but I always thought I had dry skin, but honestly it just, it, it oils up, bro. Okay. Okay. I don't know the camera tricks or whatever to like show you and zoom in. So I'm just going to like lean forward like a freak. Um, but as you can see, like I have darkness usually down here. So the powder has like a little bit of coverage, but not nearly as much as you typically would. I have been using lately the Il Maquillage. I tried it for the 14 days or whatever. Um, I really like it. My color is in 215. It's the I woke, I woke Up Like This foundation. Honestly, like, I like it. I think that it's buildable. I think for today... Okay, what do you guys think? I have two Fenty's. So I'm from down south. When Fenty came out, I was in South Carolina, and I was like this shade, which, I mean, it's not far off. I mean, it's still pretty dark. And then when I moved up north... Hi, guys. <laughs> when I moved up north... I didn't go in the sun for months. Like, I don't know what it is about being up north. It was the 400. So this is 400. And this is 450. So like, as you can see, my friend was messing with me. Like, that's two different people. Like, hell yeah, girl, I know. I kind of want to use this up. So let me tell you about Fenty. And it's a really, like, they have some great stuff. I have more things in my collection of Fenty. Not my beauty blender. I, I try to bring all my stuff down here, and this is the most ratchet thing you've probably ever seen, but we ratchet. <laughs> so I got a mirror with regular side. <laughs> yeah, the truth about Fenty. Um, I know everyone was really excited for it when it came out, but to be honest, um, it's all right. Like. <laughs> It's all right, all right. I mean, I have had many different products that I've used. See how light that is now? But it's okay, we're gonna make it work. The deal with Fenty is people are really excited about the shade combinations, but honestly, like, as far as the product goes, I have had like mixed feelings about it hmm that's not my shade anymore like even right now like it doesn't blend how the ill maquillage blends in with my skin hmm i don't like this because this no longer works for me i just don't like okay you know what i think i'm gonna just throw out all my foundation and you see how, like, of course it's too light for me. Mix in the 450 and, like, try to save it. I'm going to try to save it. It's quarantine. I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> which is, like, the bottom line. Mm. Nope. I don't like this. What the fuck? I don't like this at I don't like it. Nah. Nah, fam. It's oxidizing. So that's the other thing with Fenty. It oxidizes down. 
but it also dries super fast. It's just not my favorite foundation. Like it looks better now, now that it's oxidizing, but it's just not my favorite. I know people are like riding for Fenty and I should probably get re-color matched, but honestly, I've been in Sephora um, a couple times since they moved into a different phase. I don't even know what phase we're in in this quarantine. I don't even know if we're technically still quarantining. It's a mess. Okay. All right, I think I fixed it. I think I blended it all in. I was worried. I was just like, oh, that's too light, but I think it's drying down. I have no patience as well. So as you can see, <laughs> why I'm a hot mess. I don't even know if you're still here. God bless you. This must be comical. And I also have the Juvia's Place foundation, but that's also too dark for me right now. I don't know, my skin, like summer, winter, it, it, it all fluctuate, fluctuates. Um, but brown skin is beautiful skin. And I think like we have the most lovely complexions out there. Okay, so this is all blended. I've blended the hell out of this because I did not want even though I'm going to put a mask like on this lower half of my face, I did not want this to look stupid on camera. All right, so that's blended. It looks like, see how it kind of matches my skin color? You know, how it's all blended down. Whew, that was a crisis. I was like sweating. I was like, <laughs> I was like my first beauty tutorial or whatever this is. <laughs> my first like beauty shit that I did on my channel and it's shitty. All right, so foundation laid now we go in with the concealer so like i said i have some juvia's place products but this concealer bro this is i like wear the hell out of this honestly sometimes i'll wear this and just powder um but this damn what is this called? this is a nine so is this in the in the shade nine and all i do sometimes i'll do like the instagram makeup but all i do is do this and that And as Mother Jackie has suggested, you let that dry down and then you blend it out. Now these brows, honey, I know I come on my videos and sometimes my brows look like I'm aware, like I'm a brow. If there's anything I can do with makeup, it's brows, girl. Like watch I like fuck them up. So what I do is I brush them up. I get my brows prepped and ready. They're definitely over waxed right now because the wax lady that I went to doesn't like she doesn't really understand what I want, which is fine. I honestly just want them cleaned up. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna zoom in because I don't know how to do that, but um, I just want my natural brows. They go like this. I just want this bottom part and this top part waxed and then leave a tail. But she always like takes the fuck out of oh, always like takes the hell out of my tail. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, have you not seen any like magazines beauty blogs like i don't know what you're doing like you're taking my shape so she stops it like right here which is just short of the outside of my eye like ideally i would want my my tail to be here so that's enough about brows it's so freaking annoying and i'm just like why are you so challenged she does she doesn't get it i don't know and i'm gonna go in and blend so some people I've done it mo both ways. I've done base and concealer and then eyeshadow. And then sometimes I'll do this. Or sometimes I'll do um, my eyeshadow and then do my base. But honestly, it doesn't really matter to me. You can see like, I have naturally, I've had them since I was a kid, like these like under eye bag things. And so I don't necessarily want to cover them up because I think it just makes my face my face. And the older I get, I'm going to get like little crinkles. So maybe I've been thinking about doing something about it. Like, because I, I know for sure eye cream is not going to do it. <laughs> but sometimes I want to go in and um, work on my under eyes. They're wet little sponges. powder and I'm gonna start on my eyes now my dog is knocked out that's so funny makeup is just an expression 
of how I feel that day. So all I'm doing is taking a wet beauty sponge and setting the under eye. And it's not really baking, like I really just set my under eyes because baking, I don't know, it really doesn't do a whole lot for me, just in general. So just a close up. I think I wanna do, I think I wanna do my eyeshadow first and then <laughs> out of everything I buy the most of, it is. <laughs> eyeshadow palette so some of these were gifted from my friend she just gets palettes and then she just gives them to me when she's done um i swapped her the norvina palette for this urban decay i'm not gonna say i regret it however i do miss my norvina palette it was the purple velvet one if you know what i'm talking about and this one's cool like i like these colors but I don't know. <laughs> There's just that one purple in the Nor Norvina palette that I love, the shimmery purple. I have missed that color so much. Heart. This is also my go-to palette, as you can... <laughs> I'm doing the mirror thing, but as you can see, like, I use the pink, brown. I do try to use the blue shimmers every now and then, but, you know, whatever. This is so fun. I can see why, like, people do this. I'm just showing you my palettes anyway. So I use this palette. This is the Riviera by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, and I did get, like, this little mini Norvina ABH palette. Honestly, guys, this, if you haven't picked up one of these, like, these are so fun colors. Like, I love this blue and this green. These greens are very vibrant. This orange, I can't quite get this orange together. So I'll try to figure out something. So we're gonna do eyes. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do like a regular, regular neutral eye or kind of go all out for the for the for my first uh, YouTube debut. However, let's get this shit going. So I like to take a brown. I don't prime my eyelids. I really don't see a point in it. Um, me personally, but the point of it is to actually keep the oil from breaking down your eyeshadow. However, the only thing that really gets oily on me is like this part of my face. So I don't know what I did to deserve. I don't know why I was freaking out about that Fenty. I hadn't used it in a while, which is probably why, but it actually, it looks fine. So I took Rift from Born to Run. I took this brown and I just lay it down on my eyelid and I use it so I can easily like buff out and transition. <sighs> what do I wanna do today? Damn, usually I have like licks that I wanna do, but shimmer to not shimmer. I kind of been digging red lately. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you see her? She's weird. And this is Solstice. It's a. I think this is kind of like a knockoff. This is my friend gave me this palette. Um, what? Bad Habit Beauty? Okay, but it's cruelty free, so I do like that. But this, this is Solstice Bad Habit. Um, this palette, I'm taking this red right there. And what I wanna do is, oh, put my whole, I put my whole finger in this dawn. This is why I'm not a guru. Look in the mirror and like have you guys watch me. But I'm going to take this red and pat this in my like mid eye. Because for whatever reason, I, I've been really digging red tones on my eyes. I don't know if I should really use this fluffy brush, but you didn't really come here for like actual proper makeup techniques you came here to like chill so um yeah we're gonna just keep on patting yes bitch I mean honestly does anybody take a lot of what gurus say and apply it to their everyday makeup I try to like with the whole Jackie Anna situation but for the most part it's just entertainment like I've always loved watching people do stuff like hair and any type of like crafts. Like even if you're knitting, like I find that shit so interesting. And you just want to dip. You just want to dip them in and pat. Um, 
that way when you're actually ready to blend like you like it's not going to be over blended and i've learned that in my many years of scouring the internet okay so dig it and so i don't freaking have time to like clean my brushes i clean my brushes deep cleaned um like a couple days ago and i'm not gonna deep clean them again for like several weeks <laughs> so thing that like cleans my oh it's way over there <sighs> all right so whatever i'm gonna improvise i use like these terry cloths so if you use makeup wipes please stop please stop using makeup wipes it is a waste on the environment just get these terry cloth i got mine from primark and you can just wash them and like wash clean your face like wipe off your brushes like just use a terry cloth this is dry but you can use it wet to remove your makeup just use that makeup wipes i used to buy makeup wipes religiously just stop stop doing it stop throwing like single use stuff in the ocean like we're just oh like i can't i cannot stand it <sighs> Anyway, that was my rant. It's out of memory on my phone. It's going to be my fault because I've been rambling. Where are you, honey? Okay, basic home moment. I bought this from CVS when I was in college. And this is my second one. I've bought two. This is my second one. Honestly, this is the best thing that I own. <laughs> so I'm going to take Punk from Born to Run, which is this one. And I know you probably couldn't see that, but like we saying, we ratchet. And I'm gonna just put this in here. You see how it's darkening up? Yes, bitch, I know. I can do a little something now. Come on. And like, see how it kind of fades? It looks super cool in person on my mirror. And it's got some harsh edges. So I just pretty much like, see how I patted in the red? So it's still like very pigmented, but I'm gonna just buff out that. And sometimes I drag it too low on my on my eye, but I'll just fix it with, um, I'll just fix it later, but I think it kind of looks fun. And I'm gonna take Punk again, do the other side in the beauty community. It's honestly like really, really disheartening, like, getting older especially like you see these kids come up and back then like stuff just used to be fun like it really wasn't about like making money or like clickbait or whatever and i'm so pro youtube communities however this whole influencer stuff like it really gets to me and not like in a serious like it plagues my every waking moment but i just i miss the days when the internet used to just be kind of lawless like wow you get your hate comments and bullshit but like you know people just can't come on here and have fun and community without there like being some type of weird drama i'm just going back in with the red i'm gonna take a picture of this later guys and you're gonna be like that does not look like that on camera but see how it's kind of blending out so then what i'm gonna do is take um, my orange to can do it from Tarte. So this one of this red. Oh, that was the wrong color. Mm, we'll go with it. <laughs> All right. So I dipped it into the color next to it, which is no fox given so i'm just gonna use that other side just make the best of it i don't know makeup is just fun we'll see what we get lay down the bases i just want to blend it this is not a blending brush it's just a flat um eco tools and uh, whatever it kind of looks like i have a black eye but We'll fix it, we'll fix it, it's fine. So at this point I've gone too far up on my eyelid over here, cause it just doesn't have a gradient. But it looks cool in person, on camera it looks fucked. So um, don't mind me. 
This is a clean side, so I'm gonna see if I can just blend it. All right. That's about as good as it's going to get over here. And Solstice, the sap heading is this um, golden hour and twilight color. And what I want to do is take rays and dawn. So rays and dawn is like, this is dawn, this is rays. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> and what I want to do is take this flat side of the brush and put it in dawn since I messed her up. My whole thumb was in it earlier. And I'm going to pop it on this lid. I don't know how to do cut creases. I just know how to put like glitter and shit on my eye. And that's all. It's kind of like a foil color, if I'm being technical. And these foils, I think you can like just wet the brush, but I don't have time for all that. I'm literally just taking my dog to get groomed. <laughs> this is the highlight of my day. So for you guys, um like for me i lost my job during the beginning of quarantine and i had just gotten that job in like january i had a career switch i was in sales for a really long time um for a big company and i pretty much like got burnt out and tired of like going to work every day and dealing with people who were like super money driven and like you get to the point and not to sound not to brag but like I'm very good at sales it like sales like sucks your soul because you're trying to get people to buy stuff and you're supposed to have like an empathetic um ear to their situation but ultimately you're pushing product people so I would focus less on the sale part and starting to help people and the more you shift your mind to the other side the more like the more you see stuff for what it is. So unfortunately, um, I'm gonna take some Accelerate from Born to Run. Anyway, so like the more you like change your mindset with sales, the less like of a shark you become and you kind of have to be a shark to stay on top. So with my job, like it was always about, you know, who had the most sales this month and you know, if, if you have an awesome month one month and then the next month you're shit, like you're only as good as your last month, honestly. So it just got to be like so tiring. And I liked, I started doing management in that job. And what I really liked about it was the fact that I can like coach and train people. Um, But it's just not, it wasn't for like the, the weak hearted, to be honest with you. Like if you are not like intrinsically motivated to make money like you know you're you're not going to care and so i realized that with the people that i was training it's just like it just takes a specific kind of person to do these types of sales so i don't know if you can see it's not really picking up great on camera but i'm gonna take a picture with no filter and kind of show you like what's happening but I don't know. So I got the itch to leave that job like way last summer and I didn't leave until January. But when I left, it was so freeing. So what I did is I stacked up my money and decided to like have a plan out and I was okay with taking like a lesser paying job. And honestly, millennials, like it, a lot of us are never going to see in our young life, like over forty thousand dollars if you're in like a regular millennial with a regular like um liberal arts degree i have a psychology degree i didn't go into psych immediately um and i found that i was just good at sales and management and that's where i stayed but honestly it's really hard to break over forty thousand dollars in this climate if you're not if you don't have like a professional degree so long story short um with that sales job, I made a lot of good money over that threshold that I was just talking about. And I stacked my money to prepare to be, to leave. And I didn't look back and I've been pretty happy. And unfortunately I got the job that I was telling you about where like COVID kind of messed it up for me. And I've been unemployed. So 
it's, it's kind of a blessing in disguise. And I know people are dying and I know that people are um, not having a good time right now. I just took a little bit of Helos from the Solstice palette. I don't feel like holding it up. Um, I doubt that you're going to recreate this. <laughs> I think with this pandemic, I was able to like spend a lot more time with my dog. And I know that sounds trivial, but like when you don't have any kids and you just have like a pet that you love, spending time with them, like you feel guilty going to work and leaving them all the time. At least I did with mine. And, you know, it just became kind of sad. I would leave her and, you know, she would want attention. So I've been able to spend time with her. Um, I've been living off my savings and of course like the unemployment situation which people have so much to say about it but honestly like my city hasn't opened up fully yet so my job even if I wanted to go back to work and I do want to go back to work but at the same time I don't want to go back to work um, even if I wanted to like people can't because it's you know it's not safe and states that are taking this seriously the situation you know they're they're caught between a rock and a hard place. So I can't imagine if I had a family. I truly, truly can't because these times where like you have to decide whether you're gonna put your health at risk or make money and go to work, like seriously, like that is the pits. So I'm just highlighting. How long does it typically take you guys to do your makeup? It takes me, if I'm rushing an hour, an hour and a half if I'm doing like full glam. If I'm like trying to stunt on you bitches. Okay. I'm going to clean this up and do my brows and then come back. So my brows are mostly done. All I do is take this Rimmel. I have two different colors, but this is the lightest one in light brown, I think. I don't know. But my, my face comes together when I put brows on. I can do nothing else to my face. If I do brows, like it's fine. But in the tail... And then like outline and then do this little fade up and then I do a little bit of the top but honestly like brows you just want to think about like how the light hits your face and like less is more I, I know blocked brows were like a situation in the beauty community for a couple years but honestly like it's just trash like lightly fill in your brows um I've definitely had some square ass brows before so I'm not like a complete hater but just your brows are just giving your face definition <laughs> and like this is like my eye makeup it looks so shit on this like camera that's a little bit better i need to like put more darkness like how this is kind of dark i need to put more darkness but look at my brows Mhm. Mm honey just don't get caught up in the rapture of these block ass brows just do your fucking best and wear them I guess how you want but it takes away from your face in real life on camera it looks bomb but in real life it looks like I'm just gonna comb those up and I think they're pretty much done in person they look amazing on camera they look I don't know I don't know I need I like an actual camera I just use my phone contouring on tour. This is an espresso. And so this matchstick is like, it's almost done. I don't know. What do you guys think about the Fenty powder? <laughs> what do you guys think about the Fenty that I used for uh, my foundation? It was scary at first. I'm not going to lie to you. I was going to, I was going to rip, not rip. <laughs> I was going to take all of it off and start over and like reprime and all that. But I just decided to be patient and just work with it. See how that is like, you know, doing its thing. I just pat and go forward. I don't like wipe it as it, it probably looks like I'm wiping, but I pat in kind of gentle strokes. Yes, bitch. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to contour my nose, but to be honest, my nose is quite uh flat. Like it has like a, a slight like little rounded thing. I think I have a cute nose. And mm -mm -mm. this is so
so fun. All I'm gonna do is put on some highlight and put on some mascara and eyes and I'll come back with the finished look and maybe I'll throw on a wig as I do. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Okay, I had to go take my dog to the groomer because I looked up and it was 1230 and I was like, I have no sense of time. Apologize that I like didn't show you like the lips or anything. Essentially, it's just a black lip liner with two shades of, I think there's one cover girl and one um, Revlon lipstick that I put together. Um, just close up right here. These lashes are bomb, like, and they just plopped on as well. So like, I mean, I think they're just gorgeous. So all I did was um, do liquid liner. I usually do a wing, but I don't feel like this look needed it with the lipstick. Um, I have some texture with this Fenty. I mean, I, as I was saying before, like the Fenty for me is like, a toss-up like I'll wear it but it's like not the best foundation I've ever had part in this wig like I said I just plopped this on my head um and I didn't I didn't do anything to it it's synthetic so I mean honestly it's trash but like I I just threw it on because like I said I had to go like take her and I didn't want her to be late um but anyway this is the finished look um so thanks for hanging out with me for whatever this was. I hope this was more of a roller coaster for me than it was for you. Um, but if you like um, this type of content from me, I'd be more than happy to do it again. It was really fun. I, like I said, I'm not like a makeup like expert, but I know what I like on my face. So, you know, a little bit of over blending on my part. It's like not my best work, but um, you should follow me on Instagram for like even better makeup looks for me as always um i do a podcast every friday called unpack filth i'll leave it right here as per usual and i will leave a link in the description below anyways um yeah so i'm barely a youtuber and damn sure am not a fucking beauty influencer youtube for me has just been like a creative outlet i'm literally like sitting in my room with my phone camera and like eesh. I don't know. We're just like hanging out. So if you want to join the community, I'd be so happy and grateful if you decide to subscribe and like this video. Say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll be more than happy to um, do this again, like I said, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.